Hello, welcome everyone. I got another Wolfpack video for you on the angle on bow. Now I know if you're like me, you've probably watched several videos on this trying to figure out how to calculate the angle on bow to put in the TDC. And you usually see this. This is what we usually see. And I don't want to go over all this again. Basically, uh, how to do it this way. I want to show you a very easy way to get this angle. It's accurate. And it'll be easy. Just for first-time viewers, if they, know, they don't know what the angle on bow is, basically, this is our target ship. It's our submarine. This is this dotted line. This is the uh, course of our target ship. I could be submerged here or on top either way. The line of sight is from his point of view. I'm to his right. He's looking at me this way. This angle here between course and the line of sight, that's your angle on bow. All right? And it's constantly changing the whole time he's moving. So you can see I could be uh, seem complicated, but I'm going to show you a really easy way. And it's actually, it's probably going to be one of the easiest things you set up from now on is the angle on bow. So let's get started. Okay, now to play the mission I'm talking about in the game here, this is how you can do it. You're going to go into your lobby and you're going to select Workshop. You may have to subscribe to that too if you want to play it. This is what I wanted to point out. I'll just let the next page jump up here. Now I'll pause it here for a moment. This is the mission I have here. The air reconnaissance has spotted a merchant convoy. Grid is VF57 with a heading of 80 in the Bay of Biscay. They need to locate the merchant convoy. There's just one heavy freighter and one heavy tanker in the, in the convoy, so we want to put them two down. I'll be speeding through this video just to uh, make it not a very long video, but to get to the point, okay? So, here we go. Just uh, narrowing down the field here to figure out where they are. They look like they're about mile 165 and about to 50 on the compass. We'll put a little mark out that way, and then we'll head that way. Well, I traveled quite a ways already, and I'm just now getting where I'm starting to spot the convoy here. There you can see them there. They're heading 8-0. I'm heading 5-0. And I'm about to make my turn now. And start working my way to get around them. And there we are going around the convoy on this side here, trying to keep my distance. There's two warships. There's one on this side, so I'm trying to stay as far away from them as I can. It takes a little while when they're going away from you to get around them, but the best way to do it. Here's what I put down on the map. Now, you know, their course at the top there is heading 80. The X is where I spotted him when I first started there. Seven degrees and approximately, now this is the warship. Approximately a little over 7,000 meters out at the time. And I'm just matching their course parallel, parallel here on the map so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm still working my way around, get around the convoy. And this is my next map entry I made next. Uh, I had him, the uh, warship way back to my left. So I have enough clearance. I should be able to cut down in front of them now and not be noticed. So I made me a mark down to 5 0 to head that way and to get uh, finish getting around the convoy. I'm drawing a little key here just to, so I can point out what I, what I was trying to explain. I'm figuring out your angle on bow, so you'll see what this is for later. 
that's 80 degrees. That's their course. Now I'm going to put it up uh, 270, which will be 350. And if you go 180 down from there, looking down this, the other side will be 170. And you'll see why I use it as a reference so, you'll, so I can explain what we're doing here. All right, let's, let's keep going. Right here, I'm about to make a turn and go straight on that 350 degree angle, straight to their course line my mark here and then we're going to make a turn for 350 and right now that we are making this turn and we'll just carry on right here I just dived saying my heading down below is still 350 ticker to top zero it's my heading. I've dived now, and I'm going to turn back toward the convoy. I went ahead and dived because uh, the warship was gaining on me, and I'm just worried he's going to spot me. So that's why we go ahead and dive in now, and we're going to turn back toward the convoy and meet them. Now, the course line that I had drawn over the 7,000 meters was the warship. The convoy was to his left. So to go a little further over for the convoy. So I've intentionally put myself at 281 just to be at an angle. And when we get a chance to look at the map again, I'll make these marks and you can see. But I have it at this angle, and the way I'm angled here, I can uh, be able to fire either side. If uh, I have one behind me or in front of me, I'll have Angle on bow to the right and angle on bow to the left. That's what I was setting up here. I was trying to get this angle cut so I could show you how this works, that you don't have to be dead on 90 degrees with your with your submarine. Now I'll jump ahead some more to that. Right now I'm identifying the uh, my target ships here. Add two, uh, I think. Yeah, heavy freighter 36 and heavy tanker 31. And you can hit Q and it'll show you your mission objectives to see those. All right, here we go. So you can see on the map what I'm doing. That's my ship's heading. I've changed to an angle of 281. They're heading 80 and they head the opposite direction will be 260 so I'm, I'm angled on intentionally just so I can show you how to set this angle on the bow and it's very easy right now I'm just looking out and that's the direction I see them whoever I was looking at here But remember, they are doing eight zero, so I think I'll put that mark here. So you can see the eight zero. You can see their course line versus the way I'm facing. So I'm really angled to it through them right now, so you can see that. I was on dead slow, but notice this. I'm probably going to pause it here so I can talk about it in a moment. Okay, now you notice, look down to the bottom right corner of the screen there. That's my actual heading. The way I'm facing is 281. When I'm looking out of here, it's what, about the 60, 68? I'm looking at 68 on the top ticker there. All right? And notice the bottom, 350. Now that's the mark we made on the map. That's the interlocking course with 
eight zero for 90 degrees. So all you have to do is uh, set that set that three five zero, or depending on whatever course you're running, whatever the 90 degree mark is. Now, if it was this is for bow right, if it was bow left. It's going to be the opposite. But you'll see something here. I'll show you shortly. So just let it play through some more here. Now notice, I'm going to turn and look at the ships here. If I hit one, there's my angle on bow right there. It's already set. Any ship I look at now. So I was kind of showing you the 170. So now we're going to back in and turn to 170, which will be if there's a ship coming from this direction, bow left. When we look at our angle on bow, see it's exactly 90 degrees left. You know, I'm facing 281. So it doesn't matter what, if I turn, no matter what I do now, I'm locked in on this. So I could turn again now, I could turn to 290, and then I'd still be, I don't have to change my angle of bow, on bow anymore. It's already set. And look at the angle on bow on this guy. Now he's kind of toward my left, just barely, but he's coming straight on me. So I just wanted to point that out, and we'll carry on some more. Now they're a lot closer now. Excuse me. But you gotta you gotta be patient. The main thing. See when you zoom out how far they are, you still have a good distance out. I'm concerned with this guy. He's getting close, and I'm worried about him spotting my periscope. So right now, I'm just being patient, and do that far right. It's my target, one of my target ships. Trying to get them, let them get close enough. And when we do, we want to try to hit them both pretty close together, because uh, there's much delay, then the convoy tends to split. And they'll just... Change course, change speed, everything. And we don't want that, so it's best to try to get those, uh, try to shoot the further ship first, watch your seconds, and fire the next one. Try to hit them close together. You may not always get it perfect, but it does help. So if you take them by surprise. And here I was just timing this uh, to get their speed. We'll jump ahead. So that ticker on the bottom is showing the actual compass course line when you're looking at that. That's how I set the angle on bow. Now what I was talking about earlier at the beginning, now in this mission we know the course. Uh, if you come in behind the convoy, or you can cut, cut cross kind of diagonally, just, uh, you know, stay back far enough where they won't see you. But then you can use this ticker when you get behind, line up behind one of the ships and put the crosshair on him. When he's going straight there, well, you pretty much got his course line. Write that down and then carry on and go around them. That's a little difficult when you're running out to the side. I mean, you can see when you're 270 cross. Now, we're talking about a convoy with you don't know the course. When you're looking Looking out to the side at 270, it's really hard to tell sometimes. Now those ships that have the, uh, well you see the one here, it's got the H, the king, the kingpin. Now those, you can kind of line those up, and then I usually look at their smokestacks, and I just try to pace them alongside and see if they're getting further away or... I'm staying with them or they're getting closer and I just try to adjust, figure it out, or sometimes I just guess. And right now I'm still, uh, right here, I'm just uh, sizing them all up. This guy gets really close to me and you'll see that. 
pop up here and show you how close he, he got to me. I was really worried about him spotting me. I'm not even zoomed in here. Just wait till I zoom in. He's right on top of me. But he never spots me, so that's the good thing. Here yeah, I'm doing getting my final ranges. These guys are getting pretty close now. Checking the range one more time. I'm, I'm about to start uh, firing my shots on these guys on my target ships. That's one of them there. Which at first he seemed the furthest when I first checked distance earlier. I think after I fired this shot, I realized the other one was a little bit further. Let's see, I aim center on him. We know our angle on the pile has been set since we, uh, for a while now. And we uh, set it on the 350. Now let's uh, lock in this other one. There's the next shot. And we'll just let it play out here a little bit now. We're almost finished here. I'm concerned about this guy. Really want to hit him. The only bad thing with the destroyers is that they like to stop, turn, speed up, slow down, change course. <laughs> it's not. A, I don't know what I was doing here. I was looking a little confused. That was the wrong angle I was looking at there. He's at my 189. He's about 105, 106. Right there, he looks okay. He's ready for a shot. I'm looking at 110. You look at the uh, meter at the bottom, I think that is right dead on the money because that's the one slit on the angle on the bow. So I know it's right, so my reading was wrong on my protractor there. Double check, and yeah, I think his mass height is 32. He's about five. And while I was looking at him, there goes my first hit. I, th I was thinking I was going to hit the smaller ship. But I set the running depth on those for four. I believe it just goes under him. But if you use this method for the angle on bow, you, the hardest thing to get is just get their course line. If you get their course line, then all you got to do is do, uh, do a 90 degrees into it, whether it's going up into it or you're going down. It just depends on which one. Just take note of that angle. No matter which way your ship is facing, you just set that angle. Bow left, bow right, 90 degrees. And it's dead on. I did end up firing this shot. But you see he's already turning right now, so I fired it, but I'm pretty sure I would that was a, gonna be a miss. Stay straight for me, I'd been alright. Let's go ahead. And I'll fire this one off at him. Set the range. I need to change the torpedo depth. Me too. But he only goes down three in the one. They say I fired straight on him. He's right at him. He, he starts turning again. Once the other one goes down, I just went ahead and ended the mission. But I hope you uh, guys enjoyed this. 
And if you did, just give me a like. I hope that helps somebody out. It's helped me out a lot. I'm sinking a lot more ships now. And feel free to go pra try that mission I have where it's giving you the uh, course line already. It's good practice. You guys have a good one.